Hi guys, welcome to Sabondi Academy. In today's video, we'll be solving the question 2 of the 2021 Wasi Kormash Theory questions. We'll begin with question 2a. Given that P is equal to Q minus T all over T plus 1, I make T the subject of the relation. I, I find the value of T when P is equal to 2 over 3 and Q is equal to 3 over 4. So let's begin with our solution. So we know that P is equal to Q minus T all over T plus 1. So here we can cross multiply and when we do we get, when we cross multiply, this is the same as P over 1. So we get P multiplying T plus 1 is equal to 1 multiplying Q minus T. So when we expand, we get PT plus P is equal to Q minus T. So here we can group like terms. So we have PT plus T is equal to Q minus P. And then when we factorize T out, we get T into brackets P plus 1 is equal to Q minus P. So to make T the subject, we divide everything by the coefficient of T, which is P plus 1. So this divided by P plus 1. This divided by P plus 1. This cancels this. So our T will be equal to Q minus P all over P plus 1. So this would be our question 2ai. Now I, I find the value of t when p is 2 over 3 and q is 3 over 5. So we know that our p is equal to 2 over 3 and our q is equal to 3 over 4. And we have our expression t is equal to q minus p all over p plus 1. So let's say equation 1. Now anywhere we see Q in equation 1, we replace it with we replace it with 3 over 4. And anywhere we see P, we replace it with 2 over 3. So our T will be equal to 3 over 4 minus 2 over 3. All divided by P, which is three, 2 over 3. 2 over 3 plus 1. Now, 3 over 4 minus 2 over 3 will give us 1 over 12. 2 over 3 plus 1 would give us 5 over 3. Now, this whole expression can be written as 1 over 12 divided by 5 over 3. Now, we know that we can change the division sign to multiplication, and when we do, we reverse the fraction. So we have 1 over 12 times 3 over 5. Now 3 goes into 3 1 and it goes into 12 4 times. So we have 1 over 20. So this brings us to the end of question 1a. So let's move on to question 1b. Now don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have comments or questions don't forget to leave it in the comment section. All right, so question 2b, given that m is equal to 2x over 1 minus x squared and n is equal to 2x over 1 plus x, express in the simplest form. So a keyword here is simplest form. 2m minus n in terms of x. So we have our m, which is equal to 2x over 1 minus x and our n, which is equal to 2x over 1 plus x. And we are being asked to express 2m minus n in the simplest form. So we can write 2m minus n as 2 times m is 2x over 1 minus x, 2x all over 1 minus x minus our n, which is 2x all over 1 plus x. 
Now this will give us 2 times 2x, we have 4x all over 1 minus x minus 2x all over 1 plus x. Alright, so this is m is 1 minus x squared. So, alright, so we have this. Now, 1 minus x squared can also be written as 1 squared minus x squared. Now, 1 squared is 1, so we still get 1 minus x squared. And we know that 1 squared minus x squared can be written as 1 minus x, 1 plus x. So, our 4x over 1 minus x squared will be 4x all over 1 minus x, 1 plus x minus 2x all over 1 plus x. Now when we do this, our LCM will be 1 minus x, 1 plus x. So we have 1 plus x, 1 minus x. Now 1 minus x, 1 plus x will go into our, will go into our denominator one time times 4x, so we have 4x minus 1 plus x will go into 1 plus x, 1 minus x, 1 minus x times, times our 2x, so we have 2x multiplying 1 minus x. So this brings us to 4x minus 2x minus 2x squared all divided by 1 plus x, 1 minus x. All right. But we are being told to simplify. So when we multiply, we get 4x minus 2x plus 2x squared all over 1 plus x, 1 minus x. Now, 4x minus 2x, we have 2x plus 2x squared all over 1 plus x, 1 minus x. So from here, we can factorize 2x out. So we have 2x multiplying 1 plus x all over 1 plus x, 1 minus x. Now, this cancels this. We'll be left with 2x all over 1 minus x. Now, this will be our final answer. And this brings us to the end of the question 2 of the 2021 Commerce Wasi Theory questions. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to leave your questions in the comment section. In our next video, we'll be solving the question 3 of the 2021 Commerce Wasi Theory questions.